have here my old hickory I'm going to do a scientific demonstration to show how to put what they call a patina on the blade. I've already patinaed mine up a storm but I'm going to put some more down where I see there's not any so I can do the demonstration. Now have the old hickory. I have a jar of mustard. Plastic, not a jar, it's a plastic container. This here is a French's yellow mustard. Doesn't matter which kind. I like this one because it's got a little top on it right there that when it squirts out it makes a real thin line. And that helps when you're doing your uh, designs on your knife blade. Here we go. I got the mustard shook that all to the where the top is I hope. I'm going to squirt a little sample make sure that uh, I'm not just squirting out the liquid. I want some mustard to come out of that thing. Let's try it. And there's the mustard coming out. Let's see if we can make a little line on this here knife. I'm going to try it. Let's see. I can't hardly see here the way I got my camera. Okay, let's make a line. Now, I have made a line. Well, I'll skip the spot, but that's fine. That's fine. Made a line along that where there's not any anything, so hopefully we can see it when we take that mustard off. What we're going to do is leave it on here for 20 minutes. And when we take it off, we're going to see the mustard. It's going to leave an outline. Uh, in other words, wherever you put your mustard, it leaves a, a dark outline and not as dark inside where the mustard is thick. So let's start our 20 minutes. Now, the mustard has been on here about 25 minutes. Remember where that mustard is because it's, uh, we're going to wipe it off and see if it leaves any kind of a line. There was nothing but a silver knife blade there before we put it on. Remember, it's got a little skip here, a little skip in it. So we're going to wipe it off with a piece of tissue. Wad it up tissue. Here we go. And I have a wiped it off. Let's see what it says. Can you see? I can see the line. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can if I hold it. There should be a skip down here. There's the skip. And it starts back up right there. See that line? Remember I told you it would make a line, a dark line around where the mustard was and uh, be plain in, in between where the mustard was uh, the blob. And then uh, around the blob of mustard you have the, uh, the black line. That says you can put a design on your knife blade. I would recommend to begin with to do that line on maybe the bottom of your blade with a with the mustard, or you might just want to put a little little spot up here or down here on the tip, and that way you can see for yourself how it uh, how it, uh, the design that it leaves, and that is the patina on the old hickory blade. It will only work. It will only work on a high carbon steel metal. The old hickory is a high carbon steel metal blade. Won't work on stainless steel and such, only the high carbon steel and uh, very few knives are made of the high carbon. And uh, let's go on to another little demonstration here in a little bit. 